Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Love seeing everybody's pictures from Stagecoach. Yeah. Oh, my God. Cowboy hats, vests, denim. Ooh, a lot of fringe. Rhinestones. <laughs> that was I mean, a lot of fringe, wasn't there? It's a lot. <laughs> that was fun. I didn't see anybody tweeting about it, though. Yeah. Is, uh, is Eric like, Church okay? What happened to him? <laughs> oh, he headlined Friday night, and he decided um, to close the party of Stagecoach. By doing a 45-minute acoustic gospel set, oh. of, a set of gospel covers with a choir. And people were flooding out in droves, like leaving. Like, this, this, what is this? You know. <laughs> so he comes on at 10 o'clock Friday night to close the all-day party festival and decides, you know what? I'm going to take a chance and do gospel covers. It was mostly his songs, but sung gospel-like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Either way. Different. And they just different. fled. They were like... <laughs> Yeah, See you. That's they what you like, want to do. What are we doing? I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah. Well, oh, is he just going to do this all night? Leaving? No way. <laughs> they flooded out of that place. He Always said, change what people came there to hear. Yeah, that's it's it's kind of <laughs> selfish. He said his quote was, "This is um, that was the toughest set of my life." Well, well you yeah. brought that on yourself. Yeah. What I are mean, you it's doing? It's like going up there and doing puppetry. It's like, yeah. uh, dude, read the room. You're at a festival. <laughs> yeah. Play yeah, the hits. You've got a limited the, time. Yeah. It's the last uh, show of the night, so they're probably uh, pretty well um, into the wind, mm -hmm. if you know what you're I'm the, saying. You're the headliner. They came to party wow. with you, and then you just – it's I, I, two things. One, I appreciate the fact that he wants to take a chance. I but don't. Two, it's selfish <laughs> that he did it in that scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, mm -hmm. it's not even, it's like a festival show. It's not, it's not your, even your show necessarily. Just yeah, I don't do know. that on an award show. Yeah, do that somewhere else. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't surprise a, a party audience with that. All his songs, but sung in a gospel uh, <laughs> style. <laughs> I mean, what were you thinking? Yeah. That's what I was like, what is going on here? Rob, would you stay, you're a big Eric Church fan. Was that a bad idea? I mean, for a concert festival, yeah, but if it was for just like a regular concert, I'd be all about it. Yeah, yeah. Or if right. you just want to do a special album, right? Sure. Or bust it out the at, at the uh, CMAs. Man, yeah. He he really misread that one. That's a fun story. I didn't even see people talking about that. That was yeah. a big deal at Stagecoach. Love that. Uh, Britney Spears is in the news today. She's uh, well. There's a lot of reports out about Britney Spears today. People are saying that she's close to going broke. She's traveling to Hawaii once a month by herself, private jets. She's spending a million dollars each trip. Goodness. She was worth $60 million during the conservatorship. They say that that number is way, way, way lower now. Um, and she's still lashing out at her family. She said, no justice has been done. Um, they in, they hurt me. She says she has to get acupuncture every day to deal with the, the injuries she uh, she got throughout her childhood and throughout her performing career. Mm. So things are not going great for uh, Ms. Britney Spears. Uh, but, um, you know, we're in prom season, so uh, we've got some follow-up questions about uh, where your prom date is now. We'll find out next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. HomeWithRichard.com is where you get the process started. It's HomeWithRichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. It's not the news. Oh, wait, sorry. I got to change screens. Here we go. 
This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Do you guys have uh, police at your prom? Yeah. To yeah. oversee kind of the... Yeah, one. Yeah. The facility. I think we had one yeah, officer one. standing around. Just one outside, resource so. officer was he the guy that was in the school most of the time? I know it was a cop. We didn't have a resource yeah, we didn't officer. Have all that. You didn't have a resource officer? We no. didn't need all that we back then. Oh, yeah. we millennials had multi- brought that. We up. had multiple resource officers. <laughs> really? No, we oh, didn't. Oh, God, yeah. Yep. Well, I think we had two or three throughout yeah. the whole time I was there. They were real cool, but, you know, I got to keep the peace. It was yeah, a right. little bit of a You know why we didn't have situation. them? Because nobody ever got hurt in the 80s. That's right, baby. Uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, right. <laughs> For sure. Uh, we had a bunch of them. Um, and there were police at this uh, high school in uh, Illinois recently. A young man, 18-year-old kid, shot in the head. After prom. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. After party, going on after the prom, 1255 shots are fired. Found 18-year-old on the ground, gunshot wound to the head. Uh, the gun, uh, the teen allegedly had a gun in his waistband that was stolen from Texas. So it was like a big situation after the prom. Just terrible. Terrible. Prom's supposed to be fun. Uh, and my prom was really fun. Both of them. Junior and senior prom. Yeah, mine too. I don't remember much about... My junior prom, not because I was inebriated or anything, it was just a long time ago, but my senior prom was spectacular. I'm still friends uh, with the girl I took to prom. She's married now, she's got her whole family. Um, the girl I took to junior prom, don't don't know anything about her. Don't know where she ended up. She could be, yeah. she could be dead for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess. I don't know, I don't know. She didn't leave that much of an impact on me. Uh, but it was exciting, you know, all that fun stuff. Do you guys know where your prom dates are now? Uh, my senior prom date is living, I think, somewhere out west. Uh, she's been married to the same guy for like, you know, 25, 30 years or something was like that. Was it a girl you were dating? Uh, yeah, I was kind of seeing her at the time. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we were. Yeah, yeah. You could say that we were dating. Yeah. You're young. Yeah, she was real cool. She was great. She was very, very, very cool. Uh, my junior prom date, um, I think. She lives in California. Somebody told me a while back, but I don't really know. I don't really know what happened to her. Yeah. Or is that where she lived when she was your quote unquote girlfriend? Right. She lived in California. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what happened to Rob? You went to prom too, didn't you? Yeah. Do you know what happened to your prom dates? Yeah. She, she still lives around the area. Still, uh, still got pining away for her. No. No. Good for you. Almost caught you there. <laughs> I was trying to catch <laughs> you. Were her. Catching, trying I was to. Gonna try to catch you. So what happened to your prom date? Where are they now? Are they uh, maybe they're in jail? Well, do you have one? Hmm? Well, I asked you guys if you had if you knew where your prom dates were. What are you talking about? You threw up your hands. Like I'm pro- performing for the camera. <laughs> Just a special video audience. <laughs> you got if you got an answer. I, I thought the same thing. I thought he was upset with you because you didn't ask him about his prom date. What's <laughs> that? Well, wait, you didn't, did you ask yes, me about my no, prom I date? I did. I said, no. did you got, do you guys know where your prom right. date is? And then Ace answered, and yeah. then you said, Rob, like you just left me behind, but that's fine. It's okay. Oh, brother. Happy Monday, everybody. Where is your <laughs> prom date now? We'll find out next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. 
the Richard uh, Richard Takato sponsors the Ace and TJ show. He's great. Richard Takato, mortgage expert, help help you buy a home, refinance, amazing stuff. Homewithrichard.com. The best. <laughs> the best. <laughs> He's raising <laughs> Where's your prom date now? Let's get to it. At the Ace TJ Show, if you've got a great answer, where is your prom date now? Maybe they got arrested for mishandling a corpse. Maybe they, you know, got into the uh, meth business. That's an interesting example. Mishandling, <laughs> mishandling a corpse. I think that's like, <laughs> what you say. Maybe they moved to the West Coast and married a reality TV show star. Whatever it is. At the Ace TJ Show, where is your prom date now? Uh, Alinda said, I've been married to my senior prom date for almost 28 years. Wow. It's amazing. I wonder how quickly they got married after prom. I, I would imagine pretty quickly because quick. she looks young. Okay. But that doesn't mean she knows where he is. Well, that is also true. He might be uh, Tom Catton from last night. That is true. Huh. Uh, Christy said, we've been married for 38 years. Wow. And, yeah, no, she looks pretty young, too. Um, we just celebrated our anniversary yesterday, 24 years together, 17 years married. That's from Heather. So these are all, well, we got married. That was not exactly what I was looking for. So, um, TJ, now you can tell us about where you're, because now I got, I got three minutes to kill. Where, where are your prom uh, dates now? I never even went to prom. He never went to prom. He's lying. Mm. Well, well, they're still alive, um, which I'm sure a lot of people would wonder if that were the case, if I had killed them or not, you know, since they were prostitutes. Yeah. Well, Michelle says deceased, so she 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 kind of oh, got it. She, he is actually dead. She so. killed her. <laughs> terrible, terrible story. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, she got it. Oh man, everybody's just well. Nobody's helping you out at all right no now. No one's helping me out. I mean, welcome, happy Monday, everybody. Oh, let's we see, will, uh, uh, my junior prom date. I'm not mm -hmm. sure where she. I think she lives in California. Yeah. I'm just trying to do something. Do it again. Helping. I'm trying to save you here. Do it again. No, there's no saving this. Okay. It's, a, it's a wrap. Uh, but we do have something funny coming up. Well, my senior prom, prom sure. uh, date is actually in an age gap marriage. Really? Yeah. Do you know how gross that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Don't miss a new episode of TJ's podcast. You can stream it every day at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, and what what is on tap for today, TJ? Um, we are going to do the regular what's called Gram Slam, where we go around the Internet and make fun of social media people. That's always fun, as well as the usual um, uh, stupid celebrity stuff where we make fun of celebrities, and then uh, we will make fun of people in our real lives. So it's just an hour's <laughs> worth of making fun of people. If, if Riggins will be on it today, because he's mad at me. No, I'm not mad at you. Why would I be mad at you? You seem mad because I was messing with you. I, I, about about not asking me about my prom date. <laughs> when I put out the question there, it was for everybody to answer. You feel excluded? No, no, just unimportant. That's all. But you know, I'm past it. Yeah, you Let's seem let like you it. get past it. <laughs> you seem like you're over it. Let me let me make his job difficult Monday at six oh five, you know, seven oh five in the morning. That sounds like a great. <laughs> 
It's a great plan. Well, listen, <laughs> I, you know, TJ's podcast, you can go get it on the app or Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, YouTube Music. All those places. Mm-hmm. All those places. All, all the places. <laughs> Free Our v. app. Free V. Yeah. Our app. All that stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy named Michael Billingsley. He's in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. He was arrested after he went through the Stra- Starbucks drive through naked. Not once, three times. And <laughs> he's got a great reason why he did it. The cops asked him, what, what, what was that about? Because the employees also saw that he was, um, in addition to being naked, he was watching adult material on his phone as he went to the window. And I want to get his quote right, because when they asked him, why he did it, he said, I wanted to see all the pretty girls. What? That is, an, that is an unhinged response if I've ever heard it. <laughs> um, the, the, the police information coordinator said, uh, it's unfortunate that someone would do this to employees who are just trying to make a living and have to deal with someone doing this. I mean, uh, <laughs> understatement of the year, yeah. it's unfortunate this guy should be in jail for decades. And you know they probably it, uh, he came through the first time and they were like, oh, "Look at this guy, okay." And then he drives away. They're like, "That was weird," but thank God he's gone. Yeah. And then three minutes later, you look up and he's, "Is that guy back? Is that the same guy back in line?" And yeah. then the third time, they're like, "All right, we got to call the cops now." Or he's not. Or we gotta, that was yeah. my thing. It's like if it happened two previous times, it was a nine one one call not placed then? Because how did he get away with this? Yeah. Three how was it times? not placed the first time? Yeah, you would think it would be, but they probably. I, who knows? They probably just thought oh, that was wild. That's weird. Just one of those things mm-hmm. you see. We got stuff to do here. Yeah, I mean, and like, okay, it's over. He's gone. And then he comes back. And then he comes back the third time. So, okay, now we got to call the cops. <laughs> I don't think I think was- when he came back, say, if you didn't call the cops the first time, the second time you definitely should have gone ahead and called the cops. That's ridiculous. I wanted to see all the pretty ladies. Yeah, and he he admitted to being uh, an exhibitionist as well. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> Thank you. We've, we gathered that. Somebody should have beat him up right there. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, somebody at Starbucks should have dragged him out of his order. car and beat him up. Right through the window. Just mm-hmm. <laughs> Jail time might not be the answer. Uh, all the things you need to know coming up in Now Trending. It's radio. It's a podcast. It's the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate and years of research, we've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Uh, Justin Bieber was in the news over the weekend. He posted this carousel on instagram and i'll tell you all the pictures that are in there justin bieber posted this carousel and it's like selfies and then like a jar of weed and then like three pictures of himself crying and you hate to see it I and mean, there's one smoking a blunt but you don't really know what it's about right no i, I don't know i was reading the thing this morning that you know his fans are worried about him and concerned after he posts all these things. They said, what are you doing? Yeah, and then his wife went in the comments and said, pretty crier. I don't know, but I mean, it's like you see the tears streaming down his cheek. It's a weird thing to post, but yeah. I mean, the weed looks good. I'll give him that. <laughs> Look at that weed. I have the answer. Oh, do you? Yeah. What's that? Celebrities are weirdos. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the, that's the go-to answer. Celebrities are weirdos. Simple as can be. They're peculiar freaks. <laughs> uh Taylor Swift is still in the news. She showed up in Las Vegas over the weekend with Travis Kelsey, and they they went to a Patrick Mahomes Foundation Gala. It's I think it's to raise awareness for what is it? Is it autism? I forget. Uh, but that's got to be a crazy when you're sitting in like a you know a boring hotel ballroom and then Taylor Swift walks in. Well, I don't know. You would, well, it's, it's Taylor Swift, but you would still already you you expect if you go to a Patrick Mahomes event, there are going to be a lot of celebrities there. A couple of celebrities, yeah. 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 So the way we do it. Chain smokers will be there. Yeah. Everybody's coming. They said she sold 
uh, an estimated 2.6 million copies of her album in the first week, yeah. which makes it the second biggest selling album in one week in history behind Adele's 25. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And a lot of people that wrote bad reviews of the album are now coming back like a week later going, I was wrong about my review. I've never seen a critic do that. <laughs> you know, Like they lived with it for a little while and then they yeah. came back to, to it. sit with it. Yeah. So it's like, they were well, where threatened. did, mm -hmm. yeah, where were they getting pressure from, from their, you know, the website where they publish on, or is it the fans themselves? Uh, who really knows? Who was it to say that uh, Beyonce can't even carry uh, Taylor Swift's equipment anymore? Mm. Who said that? I don't know. Who Somebody was that? saying that Beyonce was, was left in the dust by Taylor Swift as oh. the, as the you know the go to singer. Hmm. Like there's a like they call her Queen T now. <laughs> That's not a bad name. That is a good name. I I look. I'm not saying it. I, somebody said it. And, well, I'll tell you something else. Riggin said it here last week, and I saw it over the weekend. Uh, there are people who are believing this whole theory that Taylor Swift is going to show up in the mothership market of Charlotte this weekend is picking up steam. I saw it over the weekend. It's everywhere. Yeah, it was a, 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 a post somewhere not affiliated with anything going on. There's a big music festival in Charlotte this weekend, the Love and Life Festival. And it was the headline was, is Taylor Swift planning a secret show in Charlotte this weekend or something like that, or next weekend, whatever. <laughs> they asked yeah. the organizers of the event, they were like, is, she, is that true? And they were like, we would love to have her. I bet you would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, love to have her. Yeah, just in case I'm turning my porch yeah. light off. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like I'm not home right. if she comes out to my house. <laughs> so those are just a few things that are now trending. Oh, today, the weirdest hotline ever. We're going to go back to the 80s when you can just pick up the phone and reach out and get some help with the weirdest hotline ever. Hey, this is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table & Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your daily, the shopping preparation and cooking to Table & Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, nobody should be touching your skirt. There is a crazy story out of Utah that we'll get to in a second. But something that happened in a restaurant. It's wild. But first, the weirdest hotline ever. $2 the first minute. 45 cents each additional minute. This surfaced over the weekend. It's gone viral. Um, it is a hotline from the 80s. Well, it'll, it'll explain what it's all about. What makes people all over America break down and cry like this? Call 1-900-9099-CRY and hear it for yourself. $2 for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. If you're under 18, ask your parents before you call. 1-900-9099-CRY. It's the crying hotline. Yeah. You call this number and someone tells you a sob story and you just cry. And then you hang up. Oh, I kind of get that. <laughs> you paid $2 for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute, for someone to tell you a story that makes you cry. But what if it doesn't? Well, that's on you. You know, apparently. that's what I'm saying. You, is it a is it a cry guarantee or money money back? Yeah. And you, if you don't cry, you get your money back. And you get it, Riggins. Absolutely. You would call that number. Just I like, wouldn't, but yeah. we have that same kind of content now. That's why people <laughs> scroll on TikTok for those heartwarming stories that make you cry. It's the exact same thing. But that doesn't sound like it's a heartwarming story at all. It's just like I'm going to tell you a sad sob story. Yeah, yeah. You maybe not heartwarming, but cry. yeah, content that purposely designed to so make you cry. The, it's the '80s equivalent of crying into the phone. Then. Absolutely, or looking at that kind of content. I want to cry. It's the same thing. 
Yeah. Same thing. Uh, and then there's this from Utah. <laughs> a Utah woman is facing sexual battery charges because she was in a restaurant and she saw a teenager and she felt the teenager's skirt was too short. Um, the lady's name is Ida Ann Lorenzo. And here she is uh, scolding the teenager. Now, listen to what she says. If you can hear what she says, then I'll tell you exactly what she did and what's caused so much controversy. I happen to work for the state, and if I have to watch your cheeks hanging out again, I will call CBS. She said, if I have to watch your cheeks sticking out again. What she did was <laughs> walked over to this teenage girl and starts pulling her skirt down, like tugging at her skirt in the middle of a restaurant. A stranger. A stranger. And they've charged her with sexual battery because she was pulling the teenager's skirt down because she felt it was too short and showing too much cheek. Hmm. Doesn't know this person, just walks over and tells her, you're showing too much cheek. Start tugging on her skirt, pulling it down. Yeah. She shouldn't have done that. No. But if she were that concerned, she should have alerted the manager, say, is that legal in yeah. here? We don't want to look at her cheeks. There's lots of different ways to handle it. Tell sure. her off. Yeah. Whatever you need to do. Don't be touching on people. Yeah. Um, Saturday night. I had a pretty crazy night. I went to the Kenny Chesney concert. Uh, and I met a few people. One of which was awesome. One of which... Couldn't have been less interested to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know both of them. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent you know it, it's just been one of the best decisions i've made do yourself a favor get out there as soon as possible set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics it's n-e-o-g-e-n-i-x neogenics charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic if you want all of the heating air and electrical work in your house done by the very best then you need bradham brothers They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So Saturday night, um, I was at the Kenny Chesney show in Charlotte at Bank of America Stadium. It was great. He just puts on such a good show. So fun. Uh, Uncle Cracker came out the day when the sun goes down. It was awesome. Um, but it, it, I was so my seat. I didn't have seats. We were in the on the floor right in front of the stage on the the like a, they call it the sandbar. You can just walk around that area. It's really cool. So my wife and I had grab a beer, whatever. But I standing to my left in a jacket and I thought oh look at that and about that time I noticed his assistant I believe because I couldn't hear really well because music was blaring obviously it's a concert his assistant standing behind him turns and we made eye contact and she goes <gasps> and she introduces herself and she said I want you to meet Mr. Tepper mm -hmm. oh. and so he she taps him on the shoulder and he turns and she says, this is Ace from the Ace and TJ show. And I said, pleasure to meet you. And he shakes my hand and then turns back to what he was doing. <laughs> and I was like, you couldn't be less interested in meeting me right now. <laughs> she was so nice. She was so kind. And we talked for a minute. She was great. I just couldn't hear a lot of what was being said, but she was like, Sick. she was like, oh, was, she was so nice to meet you. I was like, very nice to meet you. She was, I, I listened and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's awesome. 
So I, thank you so much. She said, I want you to meet Mr. Tepper. Hi. I said, this is Ace from the Ace and TJ show. I said, how are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. And he goes, head nod, shake hand, back to what he was doing. And I was like, yeah. good chat with you. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, that's the owner of the Carolina Panthers and of the, um, of the Charlotte soccer team. Yeah. So that was that. The little giants. Now allow me to have a moment, if I may, because a little bit later, I'm, we're wandering through the crowd from the other side, and I kind of get turned around with some people, and somebody said hello, and the thing, and there were some people saying, oh, hey, and listen, we're taking pictures. And as I'm taking pictures of someone, I see a guy turn like over his shoulder, and I went, oh, it's someone that I love. Check that out, baby. I'm showing him a picture on my phone right now. You know who that is? No idea. That's Marty Smith from ESPN. Oh, yeah, that's Marty. Mm -hmm. Marty and McGee, and he's like one of the coolest people on earth. Yeah. He knows us? Here's the cool part. He lives in Cornelia. Yes, he knows us, because here's what he said. And it's going to sound like I'm bragging. Maybe I am. I don't know. It was pretty exciting. I was like, man. I said, oh, my gosh. And we turned, and there was this moment of like, oh, I think he knows who I am. Because he goes, like, kind of like, oh, yeah. And I said, I'm Ace from the Ace and TJ show. And he goes, you, sir, are a legend. And I was like, okay, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> and so, yeah, they, we took a quick picture, and he was super nice. I talked to him for like, I don't know, just a couple seconds since the concert was going on. I don't want to bother him. But it was really very cool. But, yes, he didn't know who we were. It was, it was very exciting. He was a super nice guy. Yeah, my wife loves him. Yeah, very, very nice guy. Mm. Did you surrounded by celebrities? Yeah. It's just my night, I think man. they call that hobnobbing. That's right. That's what yeah, they call yeah. that. That's just uh, a big with the country audience. Yeah. <laughs> People love wow. me. No, no. <laughs> Only one person that I met loved me. Yeah. Well, the yes, other one did not. Yes, the other person like, did. Yeah, the, uh, the, right. There was, say, three people. I, I was two for three. <laughs> one of them might have been less interested in that. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. Well, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars yeah. a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. In the world of fashion, we often see things that are quote unquote popular and normal people see them and think, that's weird. Who's wearing that? Why would anybody mm -hmm. wear that? Uh, there is a story today about the hottest new pair of jeans that you can own. Um, they're from a designer brand in the UK called Jordan Luca. They just debuted their jeans. Their jeans cost $810. And they are sold out. And what makes them so special? Well, they come stained to look like you peed in your pants. Yeah. What? <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> they debuted pre-stained jeans that make it look like you peed in your pants. They made their runway debut last fall. They immediately sold out when they hit their website at a price of $810 per pair. Uh, they also have a lighter wash version where the stain is not so obvious. It's there. It kind of looks like, you know, you peed your pants yesterday. 
Mm. And those are sold out and they sell for $600. I think this is a great idea. I love this. <laughs> I really do. I love this. Just like I love uh, face tattoos. Let you know and who you are. The more people that want these, I hope you save up and get them because you wear these out in public and everybody else, a normal person, is going to know not to expect anything out of you. Anything, you know, that, that requires good decision making. What in the world <laughs> could be enticing about a pair of pants that look like you've peed in them? You're not cool unless you pee your pants. <laughs> There was a sketch on a show called I Think You Should Leave where this was an something on there. So I wonder if they're doing a joke from the show. I hope so. Anyway. Oh, like a publicity thing? It, publicity stunt? Something like that, but I just really hope it's not. Yeah, and not you real. don't know how many they say it's sold out. We, we have no way of Good, knowing that. You don't know. Yeah, they may have had three pair of pants that got sold out. <laughs> whatever. I mean, I, granted, there is that information. But there is the fact that they are selling pants that make it look like you've peed your pants for $810. Oh. oh, this is their thing. They also make a pair of jeans with a horizontal zipper on the crotch. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to try to make, you know, yeah. what, how stupid can we make it? Maybe. And people still pay tons of money for it. And people still think it's cool because it's different. You know, kind of like when Drake makes a song. Yeah. He's like, let's make it as bad as possible and see how many people will still love it. But wow. You know, yeah, you can find them online. Jordan Luca Jeans. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Oh, is it me? Yeah, what's going oh, on with Now uh, Trending? Everything you need to know. How about that? All right. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The Sweet Deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Britney Spears says she's not getting any justice. Uh, that is the story. Out. There's a lot of Britney news today, unfortunately, and none of it is very good. It's not like she's working on new music. She's got a bunch of new projects. One story says she's lost all her money. She had $60 million during the conservatorship. Now that that's over, now she's her money is dwindling, uh, taking a lot of private luxury Man. trips. Uh, Hawaii and Bora she, Bora. She posted um, butt pictures. Uh, I think the la latest posts that she made. Really? With something about nerve damage in my back. Like, yeah. This is why you're looking at this because of the, I want you to see where the nerve damage was. Yeah. She says she has to get back. acupuncture yeah. every day to yeah. deal with that. Her, her kids live in, in Hawaii, right? That's correct. That's why she's going there so often? I don't think she's seeing her kids. Mm. I think oh. it sounds like solo trips she's taking, little vacations. And they said each of those trips costs about a million bucks between the private plane, the staff that she has, and the uh, the accommodations. Um, so I don't know. It's just all bad news about Britney Spears. And TMZ has a story. That they're using the phrase completely dysfunctional. Yeah. And I tend to believe what TMZ is saying. Hmm. Um, so, I, yeah, pr pray for Britney, y'all. Yeah. Pray for Britney. Um, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is back in the news. She was spotted at a, um, a music festival uh, making out with her uh, ex fiance. I uh, thought they were just friends. Yeah, I mean, that was the story. They were just uh, nothing nothing romantic, but he was helping her deal with the uh, the estranged marriage. Yeah. She with her. So, uh, but it looks like that is not the case. <laughs> um, what else? What else? The NBA playoffs are happening. Big game last night. Uh, who was it? The Suns getting swept, right? Yeah. Is that accurate? Yeah, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah, I want to see that Suns and four guy. That... that the, Punched the other fan a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. He needs to make a reappearance somewhere because I, I know he can't be doing that well. Um, what else? 
Uh, and then Justin Bieber is, uh, you know, sparking concern after he posted some pictures of himself crying, you know, devastating stuff. So those are just a few <laughs> things that are now trending. Uh, for me, when I was in high school, his name was Mr. Richardson. Mr. Richardson was uh, my coolest substitute teacher uh, that I ever had. Uh, but there's another one that's been arrested because she was so cool oh. as a substitute teacher. We'll tell you about her coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world-famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said we have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars yeah. a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So when I was in high school, there was a um, substitute name, a teacher named Mr. Richardson. Mr. Richardson would come in and substitute in the business classes. Like I had an accounting class or typing class, stuff like that. He was the go-to substitute for any of the business teachers. And uh, Mr. Richardson was so cool because uh, he was a big Richard Pryor fan. And uh, he would let me come up and uh, talk to him about Richard Pryor instead of doing my work. And then uh, ultimately, by the end of class, let me stand up in front of the class and do Richard Pryor routines. Which is wildly inappropriate. Uh, yes. Even back then, <laughs> even in the 80s, it was inappropriate. But he, he was still my favorite. He was the coolest. Now, this is, a, um, this is a story of a teacher who I think may be even cooler than that, depending on what your standards are. Uh, the court documents in this case in Oklahoma say that a woman named Donna Ted, uh, Tenetra admitted to providing a vape to a student, a seventh grade student at Lawton Middle School. A seventh grader? Yeah. But she did have a great reason. She was trying to be the kid's friend. Oh. According okay. to, the, to the reports. Nice. So, yeah, trying to make friends with a seventh grader. How do you do that? You let them take a few pulls off your vape, vape when they want it. to. <laughs> In class? Uh, it gave way? it to the students several times over a three-day period. Uh, let's see. Doesn't say whether they were They're in class, class or not, but you, you figured they would be, at the least in school or, or after all the other students had left the class. Did other students see him hitting his vape? <laughs> that how, how did he get reported? That's wild. Yeah, maybe the kid... <clears throat> Uh, said something about yeah. it, you know, to another kid. And then, yeah, should have been in the vape. They, what? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, maybe the kid didn't, didn't get a chance to, to hit the vape, so they were mad about it. Yeah, why didn't we get to hit it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's how you get narked on by not letting the other kids <laughs> hit the vape in the seventh grade. <laughs> God. So, um, I don't know what flavor it was. <laughs> Riggins, what's a good flavor of, of the vape juice? Uh, like a blueberry mango, you know, something funky. What was yeah, the one you said the other day? Zombie skin? Z yeah, zombie <laughs> skin. Mm -hmm. Did you were in the store, they were asking, do you want some zombie skin? Like that. Gatorade, you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm being facetious. This is terrible. It's not cool. Not at all. So um, don't let your kids vape or your students. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. 
Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. There's a touchy, feel-good story going around about this couple in Utah. Uh, They had ordered a bunch of work boots from the Amazon. And uh, when the work boots got there from the Amazon, they were to try on the work boots and send back the ones that they didn't like or they didn't fit. So they did that. Right after they boxed them back up and sent them to uh, send them back to Amazon, um, they got to looking and they said, "Oh, while we were doing that, we must have left the door open and the kitty cat got away." So the kitty cat had run away, looked everywhere for him, days, putting out flyers and all that. Come to find out, they had accidentally boxed up the cat and sent him back to Amazon with the work boots. So it happens. Um, they contacted them in California when they when they scanned the chip on the cat when they found it in the uh, in the shipping, and so then they had to get on a plane and go, and fly to California to retrieve the pet that they shipped out there. Now, a lot of people don't have money to be flying from Utah to California to retrieve their pet, yeah. and they wouldn't be able to take off work to drive out there to get it. <clears throat> Plus, that's so, a that's a short window of time in which to buy the ticket. Mm-hmm. So you probably paid top dollar for that bad right. boy. That, that's you not one of those things you buy ninety days out or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll be there in a month. Sure. So I don't know if I could swing that. What? I would just say, you know, just treat her well. <laughs> <laughs> Please treat her well. <laughs> Why fly though? Utah to California is it that long to get there? Well, Seems like that would be an easy drive, wouldn't it? Hmm, maybe, I don't know. But, it, you know, you may have to take a day off from work. They may not be able to do that. Yeah, that be that's an easy ask, though. Because what monster bosses would be like, no, you can't have a day off to go rescue your pet. I would. No, you wouldn't. I'd dock you. No, you wouldn't. I'd say, you do that, but you're going to be docked. You can miss one day, you'll get docked a week. <laughs> so if Rick said he needed to go get his dog and he actually shipped away. <laughs> you, know, you need to pay closer attention. You don't really need a pet if you if you're uh, that haphazard with it where you ship it away in a box accidentally. It's a better excuse than like your grandma dying, I think, because it's so unbelievable. I'm like, oh my God, go, yes, go. <laughs> That's crazy. This is the Ace and TJ show. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. I have a new podcast called TJ's Podcast. Uh, and it's it's a lot of fun. Talk about all kinds of things, and uh, and we talk uh, long form conversations about uh, things that matter, you know, in the world. Like Riggins and I had a long debate about um, if there were only two women left on Earth and you had to date one of them, which one would you choose of um, Lorena Bobbitt and Mary Kay Letourneau? Even though Mary Kay Letourneau had passed, but she would be, you know, she's in the hypothetical, she's still alive. So important things like that. And we also do a segment from time to time called TJ's People, where it's just people that I'm interested in or that I like, that you don't know who they are, and then we talk to them on the show. Uh, Last time we did that was my friend Glenn, and that went pretty well. 
And so I've been trying to um, talk my little friend Jenny into doing it. That's who I want to hear. Yeah, is she going to do it? Lord, no. 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 I would be stunned if she said yes. Oh, that's a shame. She should say yes, though. That'd be great. Mm. I would love to talk to her. Yeah, she won't do it. Uh, And I think the reason why she won't do it is because um, she's nervous. She gets nervous. You know, nobody's listening. Don't worry about it. Right. (laughs) (laughs) She 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 could stand in her living room and talk and be talking to the same number of people. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. But (laughs) I just don't know. I mean, I mean, there are there are some cussings on there. You know, from time to time, but not Jenny kind of cussing. So he, Rob would, he'd, he'd be worn out by the time he got through editing all of that. That's a great phrase, though. There are some there are some cussings on there. <laughs> <laughs> but not Jenny cussings. Mm. She's nervous, huh? Yeah, and you can tell when I put the camera on her on the small town adventures thing. She's just like, uh, she doesn't really want to want to do that. And yeah. you know why? Because I'm not a professional athlete. If I were a professional athlete, she'd be all ready to take a picture with me or be on any kind of video or anything. You know, because when they come and work out, like the New York Giants and all of them come work out at her facility over here. Oh, she's Miss Congeniality then. Well, tell her we have a professional athlete coming in and say yeah. they canceled on her. <laughs> when she's here. When she gets here. TB12, you just bailed. Sorry. Like, oh, man. Look at that. We were... We were <laughs> We were finna have uh, um, Patrick Mahomes up in here. Yeah, sorry. He just he was gonna try to get a quick workout over there at your place before he left. I just left. Sorry. But you'll have to do. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Hey, radio family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.